it's depressing. You feel sad, you feel defeated. You feel like all oh, this hard work that you're putting in, I'm getting to the gym every day, I'm going, I'm working out an hour, I'm burning 500 calories. I am doing all the right things. And you feel like even sometimes when you're eating, you're eating the right foods and you're doing the right thing. Um, but sometimes you just need that extra little, that extra little nudge, that extra little push that says you are doing great, but let me help. Let me get you to where you need to be. And that's what Elisa has done for me. My name's Carrie Cormier. Um, I have been coming to Body Sculpting Fitness. I started originally um, probably about three years ago. I started doing um, nutrition with Elisa. It's probably been more than two years now, uh, off and on, but consistently now um, since January for sure. Um, but I've been on my weight loss journey or just being physically fit journey for many years and I decided that nutrition was probably one of the only ways I was going to actually get to my goals because what you put in the hole in your face is much more important than um, necessarily what you're doing in the gym. I felt like I had to combine both. It was just time for me to add that component and really um, make some changes for my health. I wasn't seeing changes. I wasn't seeing any any real results. I was coming to the gym five days a week and my weight wasn't changing. My sleep wasn't changing, nothing nothing was changing. So I really, um, doing some of my own research, kind of just dialed it back and realized that if I don't make these changes, then I'm not gonna sleep better. I'm not going to feel better. I was noticing that my body started to change a little bit and those changes for me uh, made me want more. So continuing down that path was something that I just needed for myself. I'm not getting any younger, so it was time to start putting good food in to see the results that I wanted. I need accountability, so I need that daily that daily check-in or that daily report. And my journey has been a roller coaster ride to say the least. A weight loss and what you choose and trying to find balance in life is the hardest part because I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be Elisa and win competitions. I'm trying to be me and find that balance in my life. Her accountability when your weight is a little bit up or when your weight is a little bit down, she's always a cheerleader in your corner. She's never kind of slapping the fork out of your face. It's okay, let's find that happy place for you when everybody is different. So being able to um, have the accountability that I need, also being able to have positive encouragement and positive support no matter good day or bad day, no matter how I'm feeling emotionally tied to what the number is on the scale, also learning that that's gonna, it's gonna fluctuate. And her support in that, you know, we're very, also very similar in age. So being able to have my daily, my daily hourly, can I have this kind of check-ins is really, really great. She's very responsive. And that's kind of what I need when I'm at Publix going, can I eat this? <laughs> so that makes a huge difference for me. So my total weight loss is 23 pounds. My goal is 25 pounds. Um, I got through COVID. That was kind of my breaking point, I would say, because stress and life and when you can't go anywhere or do anything, you tend to overeat. Um, so that was really um, kind of my, kind of that spot where I was like, okay, this has got to, this has got to give. So it's been a good two years. I'm down 23 pounds. I've got a couple more to go. Um, my goal is to be healthy. My goal is to have a better lifestyle. My family history of heart disease and diabetes and all of those things started to play a factor going, I don't wanna be like that. I lost um, both my father-in-law and my father in, during just before and during COVID. So it was time for me to step back and I started that journey and it's been a ride. You know, life does get in the way. So sometimes it's learning how when you go out to make a better choice or to say no to the extra glass of wine. It's being able to juggle all of those things. So it's been up and down. It's definitely been up and down. I'm up five pounds one week and down three the next. And so it's kind of been, um, it's been learning to find that birthdays are okay to have a couple of bites of cake. I'm a social person, so being able to go out on that Friday night and still feel like a part of the crew and get to have a glass of wine if I choose to, all of those things have been worked in and incorporated into my life. 
And so it's been really great to be able to sit down and have a real honest check-in with myself and have an honest check-in with Elisa that's like, listen, these are, these are kind of my non-negotiables, <laughs> or this is how I live my life. How do I fit those pieces in? Over the last year to two years, it's taken that long, yes, two years, to be able to figure out how to put those pieces in and still achieve the goals that I want, still get to that you know, lean 47-year-old that I think I want to be and still be able to go out with my friends and enjoy. And for example, last night was my son's birthday and I ate cake and it was okay. And I knew when I got on the scale this morning it was going to reflect a little, but it was okay. So it's very emotional for me too because I'm very, I'm very hard on myself. So she helps bring out that it's okay. You're going to do fine. It's one piece of cake. You know that it's okay. Um, being able to balance those things in the last two years has kind of been really where my journey has been. I have a husband and I've got two kids and as a mom and a professional working working mom, especially as you get older, hormones and life takes over. And so you start to think that maybe this is just where you're supposed to be. Because I'm in pre-menopause, I'm supposed to have this. And because there's so many things that everyone tells you you're supposed to be at your age or where you are in life, and I don't believe that's true. So being on this journey has taught me that that's not true. I can't give up on myself. I can't give up on who I want to be. I can't give up on what my goal is. I was stuck. I was stuck. And so one of the other things is that's the best part about being able to have a nutrition coach is I was stuck at a certain weight for weeks on end, weeks on end, and nothing was moving. So of course I get in the shower every morning. I'm like, ah, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where my body feels its happiest. But sitting down with her again going, why am I stuck here? Why is this happening to me? Because I don't want to give up on, I don't want to give up on me. I don't want to not be the healthiest version of myself as my kids grow older and as my husband and I hopefully get into retirement. I don't want to, I don't want to just settle because that's what someone said. So I would say don't give up on yourself. Make yourself a priority. If you are happy, everybody around you will be.